once known as Australia's worst female serial killer. Do you know what sort of person would kill four children? Yeah, I have no comprehension. Um, I don't even want to think about it. Kathleen Folbig was found guilty of killing her infant children in 2003. Justice Graham Barr found that Kathleen Folbig had displayed a distinct lack of grief. He says she's unlikely to ever admit her guilt to anyone but herself. But 20 years later, she's now free. For almost a quarter of a century, I faced disbelief and hostility. I suffered abuse in all its forms. I hoped and prayed that one day I would be able to stand here with my name cleared. The answers to her children's unexpected deaths were uncovered by genome sequencing, a complex method of examining a person's genes to find clues about their lives and their deaths. Science can go and take that extra step and prove it. Oh my God, look at you! Carola Vinuesa is a geneticist who specialises in finding clues hidden away in the genes that all humans carry. I'm hopeful that a case like this can serve as a template of other cases. I think we've learned whole genome sequencing can be extremely valuable in cases where parents have been accused of killing or harming their children. But the thing is, Kathleen's story isn't the first of its kind or the last. It can happen to anybody. We can lose children for umpteen million thousands of reasons, uh, I said, but it doesn't automatically mean that a person was involved. I'm Rachel Sylvester, and this is The Lab Detective, a story about the mothers and the scientists in search of the truth, and how science can shape and reshape the law.